if Coach Huey's contract is up, like I have been told that it ends in May 31st, then there shouldn't be any discussion about him, him coming back with no. a new AD. Should, should that mean, even and, be a question? And, and you would you would think, you know, read between the lines, if they don't extend him throughout the course of the season, like, all right, we're good. Agreed. You're 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 playing you're playing on an expiring contract. But and, again, and what has he done to nothing? To I was saying to, to earn nothing. You know, finishing five hundred. No, uh, no, no. <laughs> And he won't finish 500 this year in second unit Big 12. No, I'd be shocked. I'd love to be wrong. I would love for U.S. women's basketball to be 500 in conference play. I'm not talking about non-conference games and who, you know, those won't be. The bye games? Yeah, that, you know. No, 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 no. <clears throat> who would I like as a replacement? I'll put this up. I have a list. Okay. Which is more, which is more than the powers that be. Yes. As far as AD goes. But I will say this. My list has not grown Mm -hmm. because coaches have reached out to me and said, Chris, and they ask me now, they don't say Chris, they ask me, are they serious about women's basketball? Fair question. And I, that's what I say back to them. And I say, honestly, I doubt it. And then they'll say, well, based on who they get now as, as an ex-AD, maybe I'll think about it. But until they show they are serious about mm-hmm. women's basketball, I'm not going to consider it. And I say, I respect that and understand it. So that is the state of Houston Cougars women's basketball. What, you know, from, from, from the insider's perspective, which women's team is the most competitive? I'm not going to say the best, but just the most competitive. In in what the city? No, which U of H? Which which U of H women's team? Oh, volleyball. Okay, volleyball. Yeah, no question. Coach Rear is that program is is rolling, and they're even having it. I think their inaugural team fundraising dinner. I think mm-hmm. basically within, let's see, on August 16th, mm-hmm. and they reached out to alums. I even got an invite. And I'm like, ooh, how about this? So, yep, on two email addresses, I, they sent it to me. So I'm like, so I might consider going. I might, I might have to RSVP because I think it's approaching for the deadline. <laughs> so now that I think about that. But volleyball for sure. Track is a little further behind than I thought. Respectable. It's more respectable than women's basketball, which is not saying a lot. Softball is a disaster. Oh, volleyball, then swimming and diving. Okay. Yes. And and they did sign the swimming and diving coach to an extension, I think a three-year deal, because they finished second in the Big 12. Okay. First year in the Big 12. So it is possible. Behind, behind who? I won't say. Some team. I forget who it is. It's somebody. But a team that's no longer in the Big 12. Well, yeah. So yeah, there you go, right there. So but, hey, so you're saying there's a chance. Right, that's a chance. But the success of volleyball, the success of women's swimming and diving are two examples that it is possible in women's athletics at Houston mm-hmm. to have success in the first year of the Big 12. I'm mm-hmm. just saying it, it so it, it was possible. Just saying that, President Couture. Tilma Fertitta. Just saying, just saying that was possible. Just, just you know, so, but anyway, I, I digress on that. But, but yeah, I have coaches. I've had a list. I've had Hall of Fame coaches who've retired mm-hmm. and give me a list of folks who would, who would, uh, no, I didn't say, I, I, I said track. They just have not done as well as those two programs um, who have given me candidates, mm-hmm. potential candidates. But it goes back to it, Chris. If they're not serious about women's basketball, why should I consider the job? I got a good job here where I am. You know, so I I, I understand. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Right. Why would you leave a good thing to be on the hot seat immediately? Yeah. So that's that's where it is. And, and it's gotten to a point that our discussion right now, mm-hmm. me, you, and, and the viewers, is the most I have talked about UH women's basketball probably in the last month. 
And going forward, I won't talk about them beyond probably until Big 12 tip season? off. <laughs> tip off. I will I won't yeah. talk about it. I, you know, I, I know the non-conference schedule is not finalized. They're waiting on, I think, one more team to uh, return a signed contract. They are playing at Rice. I know that matchup is scheduled. That's probably going to be a loss. Uh, and another game, I think they're going to be in a tournament in New Orleans, I think, or some, I think, I think New Orleans around the week of Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So the schedule is, you know, trickling in here and there, but nothing official yet because they're waiting for that last team to send in a signed contract. But beyond that, I, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about them. You know, I, I got TSU schedule yesterday, well, Wednesday. I announced it on Thursday on the lunch break. I've already had uh, Rice's schedule. I'll also talk about Houston Christian schedule, non-conference schedule. So you get the idea. 